the third chart that is drawn to time scale is SIMO chart. Now it is SIMO means simultaneous motion. So SI stands for simultaneous and MO stands for motions. So simultaneous motions chart. It is not a new chart actually. This is basically a variant of two-handed or left-hand, right-hand chart with a difference that it is drawn to time scale. This is one difference of this chart from a two-handed chart. And secondly, here we draw different activities in the form of thermblix. Thermblix. So these are the two differences between SIMO chart and two-handed chart. Now, this is used for highly repetitive cycles. Not only repetitive, but highly repetitive cycles. So if a task is highly repetitive, it is performed for just few seconds and performed throughout the day many times, then we, we use SEMO chart. And generally we need the video recording of the process to draw this chart because the work cycle is highly repetitive and of very short duration. SEMO chart is a technique of micro motion study, micro motion study, where we analyze a task into too much detail we analyze each and every motion and we, we challenge the purpose of each motion that is performed to, to carry out the task. What are the thermblings? We will discuss it in detail in one of the following lectures, but here I will give you an idea that these are the basic motions that are performed to carry out any physical activity by hand. So they include reach, move, grasp, release, preposition, use, assemble, disassemble. So these are the primary motion. They have their symbols and uh, they have their alphabetic uh, identification as well. We will discuss these thermblicks in detail, but just keep in mind that some of these thermblicks are effective thermblicks and some are ineffective. So for example, use, or uh, uh, move, for example, are effective thermblicks, but search, there was a thermblick uh, search. Yes, this one, or plan or delay, these are ineffective thermblicks. We will discuss them in detail, but you should keep in mind that we try to eliminate ineffective thermblicks and we try to reduce time for effective thermblicks as a rule of thumb. So these thermblicks are used to draw the SIMO chart. So apart from the details at the, at the top, it is also recommended to draw the rough workplace layout. It is also recommended for two-handed chart that you draw the layout of the workplace, uh, of the workstation where that operation is being performed. So on the left side, we have the left-hand description and on the right side, we have right-hand description, just like two-handed chart. We have the description for both hands. So this is common with the uh, two-handed chart. Now, the difference is that instead of using symbols here, we used five symbols in the case of two-handed chart. Here, we use symbols for thermblicks. So we don't use the symbols for uh, operation and delay and uh, hold, but we use the symbols for thermblicks. For example, get U bolt is the operation. And here two thermblicks are involved, reach and grasp. So we reach for the U bolt and we grasp it. So that is getting the U bolt. Place U bolt further involve three thermblicks, move, position, and release load. And this is the time that it takes to perform each of these uh, activities. And this is drawn to to time scale. Similarly, for the right hand, get clamp is an activity that has two third legs involved. Reach and grasp, place clamp involves move position and release load. Get net one involves reach and grasp and so on. And you can see there is unavoidable delay as well and so on. So what we can see from this specific example is that the left hand is holding u bolt for a lot of time. So hand should not act as fixture. So that is one of the principles of motion economy. So we have to improve this uh, task by, uh, by better util utilizing the left hand. 
Another thing that you can get from this chart is that there are some ineffective thermics. So for example, there is, uh, uh, this is obvious, unavoidable delay is ineffective thermic, it should be avoided. Or others are move and position release graphs. So most of the others are apparently effective thermic. So we can focus to reduce the at times, but obviously this hold and delay should be immediately targeted to improve this task. And you can see the summary as we, we make a summary for every chart. So in the case of OPC, we make a summary of operations and inspections. In the case of flow process chart, we make a summary of all five elements that are involved. In the case of uh, a worker machine chart, we make a summary of idle time and uh, working time. So here we make a summary of uh, effective time and ineffective time. So we can see there is a lot of uh, ineffective time for the left hand, relatively less ineffective time for the right hand. And you, you can see, actually, this is basically the ineffective time for the left hand. So uh, we can actually see how we can um, improve the task by getting information from a single chart. 